Okay, so now in this video, we'll talk everything about making not only this 2D drawing, but we'll also talk about adding the construction geometries, dimensions, and everything. And we'll do that right from scratch. So if you want to download this drawing, the link is in the description. And now let's get started. All right. So the very first thing that you need to do is set your units. So in this case, let's assume that we are making this drawing in millimeters. So for that, I'll just go to UN, I'll just type it, I'll press enter and the drawing unit window will show up. Here I'll select decimal. For precision, I'll select only one decimal place because if you look at the dimensions, it's just one decimal place as the dimension is 3.5, 2.8, 5.6 and so on. So we just have only one decimal place of precision. Also for the angle, I'll select one decimal place of precision and insertion scale, let's select millimeter. Now I'll click OK and now we are making our drawing in millimeters with one decimal place of precision and we'll start with line. So I'll go to the line tool which is right here and I'll click at a point and I'll make a line of length 12 unit. So 12 and enter. Now this is actually the distance between two concentric circles and I did start it started randomly. So if you want to start at a very particular point, for example, origin, you can do that, but that hardly matters. We don't have any kind of a specific origin here, so we can start it anywhere. So I've got this line, which is of length 12 unit from center to center. Let's make the concentric circles now. So I'll go to circle and I'll click on this point and I'll make a circle of radius 1.4 or diameter of 2.8. So here it is, I'll press enter again to repeat this. And now I'll make it of diameter 5.6. So this time I'll just type D and press enter. Now it's diameter and let's type 5.6 and enter. So previously I used radius, now I used diameter. So we have these two, all right. Let's make copies of this. So instead of making it again, I'll just copy these two and I'll copy it and paste it here. All right, so we've got the concentric circles. Now the next thing is radius of 12, which is connecting these two. And in this case, the circle or the arc should be tangent. So I'll use tangent, tangent, radius, circle for this. Now I'll click here. Then again, I'll click here and I'll select a radius of 12 and enter. And here we have it. All we need is this trim. So I'll go to trim tool and as you know, with AutoCAD 2021 version, you just simply need to click on this object and it will be trimmed. If you are, however, using older versions of AutoCAD like 2020 or even older, then select trim tool, press enter, and then click on that part of the circle to trim it. All right, that's done. Now what? Now we just need to make another line of length eight unit. So I'll just go to this midpoint of the line and I'll make a line of length eight. So eight and enter and enter again. Okay, we are done again. Now I'll go to offset and I'll use an offset distance of 3.5 and enter. Now I'll select this line, I'll offset it towards left again, offset it towards right. Okay, so we've done that as well. Now what? Now we'll go to line tool again and we'll add a line like this. So I've used a lot of construction geometries here and that's absolutely fine. We'll just delete these construction geometries once we are done with these. But for now, these are required. Now I'll select these two, which are actually construction geometries and I'll delete it. Also, we need to add fillets now. So I'll go to fillet and I'll select a radius of two units. So I'll go to radius and I'll just type two and enter. Now, I'll also select this multiple option because I want to repeat this. So I'll select this line and I'll select this circle and it's applied. And also, since I selected multiple option, the fillet command is still active. And now I can select this line and this circle. So it's applied. Now let's go to radius again and change the radius to one unit. All right. Again, I'll click on multiple because we want to apply fillet on multiple edges. So I'll select this and this. I'll select this line and this one. All right, here also it's applied. Now, finally, we need to add filleted rectangle right here. For that, we can actually make this rectangle somewhere else, maybe here. So I'll just click here and I'll make the rectangle. So I'll just type at. Now the length of this rectangle is three unit, comma, 
the width of this rectangle is 7 unit so 7 and enter now the fillet has a radius of 1 unit on all the four edges so I'll just go to fillet I'll select radius and I'll just type 1 and enter now since we want to apply it on all the four vertices I'll select this polyline option and I'll click on any of these lines and it's applied everywhere finally we just need to move it exactly here for that I'll just go to move tool I'll select it I'll press enter and I'll click here and I'll move it on this midpoint it's not the right spot I know that so I'll just move it again move select it press enter click any point I'll select this mid one and I'll move it up I'll type 2 and enter and we are done so this is the basic geometry so we are done with the geometry part now it's time to add the construction geometries so I'll go to this annotate tab and here I'll start by adding the center line so I'll go to the center line option and I'll click this one and then I'll click here and I've added the center line now now this center line is really very really tiny so I'm gonna have to move it up so I'll just select it and using this grip I'll just move it up uh, up to this point again I'll select this grip right here this arrow grip and I'll move it up here up to this point so I've got the center line now let's add center mark so I'll select center mark I'll select this one it's added again I'll select this one it's also added here now we also need a construction geometry here now obviously there is no construction line that you can use from these like center line or center mark so you have to make it yourself so I'll go to home tab and I'll select this line tool and now I'll just make a construction geometry so I'll just click here and I'll draw it all the way up to this point now here's the thing in this case I am just eyeballing it and making it randomly of any kind of random length but you can be very precise you can just add it of very specific length also in this case I've added these center marks so instead of adding these center marks you can simply delete it and just make one center line here and then maybe add two lines just like this it completely depends on you but just to show this I'll just add a line and I'll convert it into center line for that now I'll go to property panel and from this drop down well we can clearly see that we have the center line already selected because we have applied these but if you don't see center go to other click on load and scroll down and select the center line so here we have center 2 which is the selected center line type center 2 click and click OK so that's already added so it will show us this kind of prompt now in this case I just need to select it go to the drop down and select center 2 and it's applied here so here it is so we've got all the construction geometries almost all the construction geometries there is still a geometry actually a line here which we need to add but we can avoid adding that completely we can just add dimension from here to here instead of adding it from this midline and that's what I'm gonna do here for this example now let's add the dimensions so I'll go to linear and I'll add the very first dimension which is from this midpoint to this and it's very tiny so this isn't the way your dimension should be so we need to fix some of the parameters now look at the dimension it is not only tiny but also look at all these decimal places so there should be only one decimal place but we have four so we need to fix this and we also need to fix the size of dimension now for that we need to go to dimension style manager let's do that so I'll go to annotation and I'll select this arrow icon with this paintbrush and that's the dimension style and now I'll click on modify and here I'll go to primary unit tab now you can clearly see the number of decimal places here that's four let's make it one now I'll go to fit tab and here I'll use this option use overall scale and I'll make it two or maybe three now we need to increase the scale because the text and arrow size it's very tiny so we need to just add a bigger number here so that's what I did I'll click OK close and now we should have our dimension the way we want so I'll go to linear again and I'll select this one and this point and it looks good and we also have just one decimal place the way we want it now we can add all the other dimensions so that's the linear 
again I'll go to linear and I'll add the remaining dimension so maybe one from this point to this point that's three the dimension is added outside we can just select and using this script we can move this dimension even inside if you want to move it like this now in this case I feel like the size of dimension is really big so I'll just make this change one more time I'll go to modify and fit tab and instead of three I'll just change it to two now that looks kind of appropriate length and yes it is I mean this looks kind of nice so that's the length which I'll keep and uh, I'll just make this dimension one more time so I'll delete it and I'll just select linear and I'll just add this dimension just one more time here and that's three I'll just move it slightly here okay that's the three unit dimension and in a similar way we can add other dimensions so I'll just quickly add the remaining dimensions like radius and some linear dimensions as well so I'll just go to linear again and from here to here then again we can even press enter we don't need to go to that again and again so from here to here the second dimension all right again I'll press enter from here to here and that's two unit or maybe we'll just move it like this and I'll just press enter and I'll just add it from here to here or you can also add it up to the halfway mark but in this case we have room so I'll just add it like this or maybe we can just move it towards this side again I'll just go to radius I'll add one here all right and finally some diameters so I'll just go to diameter and I'll add diameter for circle so this is the one all right another for this one all right and we are almost done we just need to fix some of the dimensions for example this diameter has been repeated twice for this and this so we'll just double click here and I'll type two times dia 5 6 again I'll just click on it and I'll type 2 X this one and similarly I'll just modify the remaining dimensions I'll click here I'll make it 4 X again click outside now click here and it is 2 X or 2 times and finally this one is also 2 times radius 2 because it's repeated twice and that's how you can add the dimensions now finally you can put these objects on different layers so let's do that as well so I'll go to layer properties and I'll just create one layer for dimension so I'll just call it dim and I'll create one more for construction all right let's change the layer color as well so for dim well let's make it green for the construction geometries let's make it well magenta all right so we've got these two and also we'll change some properties here so construction geometries well I'll just go to transparency of the construction geometry and I'll make it something in the range of like 70 because we don't want it very dark so I'll just select 70 as a transparency for construction and well dimension green no changes there all right let's select this and this and a linear dimension then I'll right click and I'll select this option select similar and all the dimensions are selected now this is a shortcut so I just selected one copy of every type of dimension so linear just one copy radius one copy diameter one copy then right click select similar it will select all the similar copies now I'll go to this and I'll select dim and it's on dim layer press escape select this this line this one and this construction geometry and put it on construction layer there we have it now the transparency is not visible because we need to activate it from status bar so I'll go to status bar and I'll activate this transparency display and I can see it's very dull it's transparent because we have added that transparency now if you don't see this transparency display on the status bar click this customization and make sure transparency is checked if it is checked it will show up here similarly go to customization and also make sure line weight is also checked and then line weight will show up now finally we'll change line weight of main drawing so I'll select this arc then a circle and a polyline 
then I'll right click and I'll select again select similar and all the similar geometries are added and also we need to select these lines all right that's done now I'll add some line weight here maybe a line weight of 0.3 or maybe 0 0.5 0 0.3 should be good so 0.3 I'll just click here on the line weight and I'll press escape and now this looks thick actually I think we missed one of the lines and that's this one so I'll select it and I'll make it 0.3 as well all right finally this is our drawing we just need to plot it let's do that as well so I'll go to plot and we'll just plot it as PDF so I'll select DWG to PDF and maybe NCA 11 by 8.5 that's the paper size uh, but since we are using millimeter it's better to use a paper size in ISO like ISO A4 297 by 210 mm all right in the display area I'll select window and I'll just make a window that is like this all right I'll click this box send to the plot and finally with these settings we can click OK but let's change one more setting I'll select acad.ctb here you can select no here also here plot transparency should be checked we want plot transparency we want object line weight so this should be checked and with only these settings click OK specify location let's call it sample and I'll click save and the drawing is saved and here it is let me bring it here and here is the final output you can also see the line weight it's pretty dark and all the dimensions the construction geometry and this is how you can make your AutoCAD drawing with all the dimensions construction geometries and other properties and you can also plot it in PDF so I hope you like this video don't forget to share it and I'll see you soon in another video